holding on to the hope that that you can change that ending that relationship's over the event is over you're still in the relationship the other person is not they've moved on long before they took all your money they're always planning Mm -hmm. ahead they're the best planners they always have a spare you know so you need to realize that there's a bigger strength and energy that you can tap into Mm -hmm. and spiritually not necessarily religiously you can join other people who share your beliefs, mm-hmm. maybe a common church or a common um, group of people who are spiritual. Mm-hmm. But find strength in stuff that's not related to the market. It's not a Bitcoin. Mm-hmm. You didn't lose 35% of yourself. Mm-hmm. You're 100% there. That's the true. pain and suffering can end if you let go with both hands. Uh, and is there one question that you advise men or women to ask or try and find out the answer to early on in a relationship? Well, definitely you don't ask what's your credit score. You don't say, can I have a naked uh, oil painting of you so I can see all your flaws? Um, uh, Can I do a D&B on your business? Right. You know, you have to be appropriate. And it's not a one question. No, many connections are, they're, they're just passing through. And then there's the timeless ones that you'll always remember that you'll always wish could still be there. Mm -hmm. And, and to my husband who passed away, I wish he was still here. Because that was real love. He went looking for me everywhere when I was married to this um, this unfortunate man who mm-hmm. found his way through stealing women's money. So I, I wish for everyone that they would find what I found, which is that you are lovable. Somebody can love you. They may not be the person you want. They may not have that fancy car, mm-hmm. that house on the beach, and they may not fulfill all your dreams, but, you know... Try to be realistic and try to be appropriate. Everything has to be measured according to reality and what your reality is. Everybody's reality is different. But I'm hoping that people, if they read my book, they will learn from my mistake. Well, see, you've said the word hope like 15 times. So it, it is here. Oh, like, and, I, and you do believe in love because you have experienced it and you know what it feels like for real. Um, and he left you with an abundance of it. You still feel loved from a positive experience. That's good. It is. Yeah. Well, good, good for you. And, and I wish it for you, and I wish it for everybody listening. Yeah. I, I think if you meditate, I did a lot of TM. And I learned to go inside to that, you know, still ocean mm-hmm. that is sort of almost um, cosmically connected to everyone. It's, it's a common consciousness where potential is, is what matters. And everybody has potential. And if they can start over and say, this is my direction, I'm going to take this course, I'm going to study this, I'm going to get that job, I'm going to surround myself with good people who aren't addicts, I'm going to make sure that I do things that respect the law wherever you are, there's a different law, obviously. Mm-hmm. And just stay true to yourself above all. Like, you know, just believe that what you're feeling from that diaphragm, mm-hmm. trust it, listen to it, and Act accordingly. If you're not comfortable with someone, walk away. Yeah. Find somebody else. Uh, this was really great. I could go on this all on about this all day, but I want people to read the book. So plug the book one more time. Tell people where they can get it. Um, online, I self-published with iUniverse. Great company to work with. Yeah, I know who they are. And yeah. they, they, they really are uh, supportive and creatively uh, encouraging uh, I had a very good experience with them. And if you look up The One That Got Away by Bridget Knowles, it is available through uh, many different distributors. It's on Amazon. On Amazon. You can get it. And, you know, just plan your reading time because mm-hmm. if you start it, you can't finish it. So you're not going to get anything done for like 48 hours. Right. Make sure you have your battery charger because you will be really angry if the battery runs dead on your on your Kindle and you're trying to read it because it's it's um, it's passionate, it's honest, it's real. And the danger in the end, you know, you can read a book and feel like you didn't feel good at the end of it. But at the end of this book, you will feel good. Right. Uh, and I agree with you. Um, I do feel good about all of this. I know we talked about on to talk uh, on some dark subject matter and it's painful. And, and I appreciate you sharing all that. But at the end of the day, like, I think we're giving people some some positive answers and, and a path and, and, and a way to avoid some bad situations if you can do it a lot of men and women totally relate to your story i hear and a lot of people are embarrassed to say this out loud and share it and we get some private emails sometimes and we don't always read those because you know we try and keep things as light as possible around here um 
because we're trying to be in the love business and make people <laughs> laugh. But this was this was good too. Uh, as far as us, like, share, subscribe, and as always, please review this podcast. Your reviews. Definitely mean a lot in the podcasting ecosystem. Shoot us an email, greatlovedebate at gmail.com if you have a question or if you want us to pass something along to Bridget um, privately. We can do that for you. Uh, Check out our live tour schedule. Go to greatlovedebate.com. We have live, live shows coming up. I think the next one is in Tampa in the great state of Florida. Uh, June 6th at Side Splitters Comedy Club. Um, We're back. The love and the laughs are back live. Thank God. Um, And hopefully we'll see you there because as always at the great love debate, we never stop making love. See you next time.